I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of the sailing that I've done, what I like about it, and hopefully maybe sort of inspire your interest as well. So this is the um, first type of boat that I ever sailed, a topper. Um, you can get these, you look on the internet, you get them for a couple of hundred quid. So if anyone thinks, oh, I can't get into sailing, it's too expensive or it's too difficult, you can get yourself one of those. This was then the second boat that I had. So a little bit of a step up as to how fast it goes. So it's called a, a hydrofoil boat. So it's lifted up out the water on like two aeroplane wings, essentially, that are underneath the water. They lift it up, bring it up out the water, and then it can go a lot faster than if it was just completely in the water. So about 30 miles an hour is kind of their top speed. This is it, hopefully in action. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it's quite fun, it goes quite fast. There's quite a lot of sort of not being very balanced and falling in is quite a, quite a common part of it. I think pretty much always come back with my hair if I do this. And so I, I got into that and I started and I really loved it. I did that and I was like, that's just awesome. So I did it more and more and then I got into racing it. And it's really good because a lot of actually very good sailors um, race this type of boat. So I was able to learn loads and they have some really exciting racing that they organise everywhere. So this was Hawaii that I got to go to, to to do that racing, which is great. That happens a lot. I mean, it's just, um, the boat sort of controls its own speed, like how far it is above the water. And then often the wave comes on, it gets a bit confused. And that's <laughs> Usually after that you exit out the front then. <laughs> about the speed that the boat was going normally. Also when you're racing it's quite crowded. There's often about 100 boats kind of going around at that sort of speed. So this kind of thing happens quite often. I was particularly amused when I started getting hit by the face. Until I think it's supposed to be serious but it's been come out. And yeah, so that happens fairly frequently. You just have to get out and push them apart and untangle them. And then this is a different type of competition. This is um, speed sailing. So basically you go out with a GPS on your boat and you just have to sail as fast as you possibly can for 500 metres. And the winner is the person whose average speed was the fastest for that 500 metres. And this is in Weymouth, um, or in Portland Harbour. So you can see that big sort of beach. So that kind of really shelters it. So it means you've got quite flat water. So you can go really fast. And I did it the first year and I came second. And I did it the second year when I came second, and I did it the third year when I came first. Yay! So I was very happy with that. <laughs> and that's that like, way the speed wing is called, so that's something that's on every week. And people um, bring all sorts of exciting boats along to that. And so that was racing, and then I also thought, really one of the things I want to do more of is sailing, is exploring and adventuring. So this is the old sort of map that always makes me want to go on an adventure. And this is an old map of Iceland. So this, that was one of the... Um, trips I took then um, was from Norway, so we sailed from Norway. This is um, heading off from Utzera, so generally the only time you ever hear of Utzera is in the shipping forecast, where it gets mentioned twice, north and south. So then we sailed off from Utzera here over to the Faroe Islands, and then from the Faroe Islands on to Norway. This is Norway, this is it for the kayakers here. <laughs> So there's not actually me kayaking, but this is one of the glaciers that you can go to the bottom of. And it's just amazing, you can see the glacier coming down here, and then you can see the bits of ice sort of carving, breaking off, and they're coming past in this sort of river in front of you, and they've got all these like, amazing colours and things that you can see in them there. So that was a fantastic trip. And then another trip I did here to the end of the world, to Ushuaia, so at the bottom of um, South America. So, um, yeah, and then... One of the best things I think about all of, like going on these trips is seeing the wildlife. So this is a, a black, black browed albatross, I think, is on the left there. So that was sailing up the Beagle Channel. So at the bottom of sort of South America, you've got the mainland, and then a bit of water, and then an island, a sort of whole area called Tierra del Fuego. And this bit of water basically separates Chile and Argentina. But I just loved that because we were like sailing up there, and often when I go places, I think I wonder what it would have been like to be the first person who ever saw this. And you were like pretty much exactly like we're seeing right now. That's Cape Horn, if you can't take a selfie there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone asked me what it was like, and like, was it really exciting? Like, it's actually quite flat the day that we were there. <laughs> Normally you sort of expect there's going to be like waves of height at this room or something. But that was really amazing and you were just... You don't really need to send a <laughs> I think the whole trip I was like, there's a penguin. And like after 20 penguins, people were like, I was like, there's a penguin, there's a penguin, the whole way, every penguin that I saw. I think these were gentoos, and then there were some Miguel and penguins with some little pink bits on them, which I quite liked. 
And then this is our next stage of our adventure. This is our boat novel um, that she will mentioned there that I've got with my partner that we're where I'm covered in paint at the moment because we're working on it, getting it set up to do some, some charters next year. And this is where we brought it from the south coast up around the east of the UK and through the Caledonian Canal last year. So this you'll remember that was the two weeks of sunshine that we had last spring. <laughs> And then this is me, this little bit at the front of the boat we often call the dolphin spotter, so I'm putting it to good use there. Although most of my photos of dolphins involve an empty bit of water. <laughs> <laughs> but this is just outside um, Malay, just sort of looking up towards Noida there, so we've seen some dolphins. And then I think everyone's camera's...